Welcome to day 36 of our school year. Right, let's get this filled in. Our beginning fraction. We have a total of 180 school days. And we are on day 36. First question we're going to answer is, is our numerator prime or composite? Well, it is even. And the only even number that's prime is the number 2, so it's going to be composite. If you're not sure, you want to turn it over, look at your prime number sieve, and see that it's not circled. It is composite. So that means we need to do the prime factorization for both our denominator and our numerator. So here, um, let's see, it ends in a 0, so I know 5 is a factor. I can get 3 groups of 15 out of 18. That leaves me with 3 tens, which is 30, and I can get 6 groups of 5 out of 30. 36 is even, so I can divide by 2. Half of 36 is 18. That's even, so I can divide by 2. Half of 18 is 9. 9 can be divided by 3. I get 3. 3 is prime, so we are done. We're only dividing by prime numbers in our prime factorization in this upside down division. Over here, uh, I can divide by 3, because 3 plus 6 is 9, and 9 is a multiple of 3. I, 3 times 12 is 36. 12 is even, so I can divide by 2. I get 6. 6 is even, I can divide by 2. I get 3. Alright, so I get to a prime number. Now it's time to write our prime factorization for our numerator and denominator. Our denominator, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. And our numerator is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So what do we have in common? We have a lot in common. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So that looks like 36 is our greatest common factor because all the prime factorization for 36 is common. So that leaves 1 in the numerator and 5 in the de denominator, 1 fifth. So let's go ahead and make our groups of 36. is a perfect square. So we're going to do a couple of those. Okay, and then 4 times 9 is 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Remember, your groups do not have to look at, like mine at all. They just have to have 36 in each group and you need to make sure that the shaded is se separate from the unshaded. 4, 8, 12, 16, 26, and 36. All right, so I have all my groups of 36. Let's count them our total. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 total groups of 36. And we have 1 of them shaded in. Now 5 is one of those numbers that we can turn into 100 pretty easily, so we can find our per cent. Per means through or thorough, cent means 100, so we need to get through 100. To get 100, I multiply by 20, so that's what I do to the numerator. Get that equivalent fraction 
but with a denominator of 100. So 20 hundredths the same as 20 cents or 20 hundredths or 2 tenths which is 20 per 100 or 20 percent. So we have completed 20 percent of the school year. We have 80 percent left. Let's go ahead and prove this with our algorithm since we did it with our model. Let's divide by our greatest common factor. Alright, so first our denominator, make our area model. We're dividing by 36. Let's see, um, let's try two groups of 36. 2 times 36 is 72. I have more on the floor. Go next door, regroup 10 more. 10 plus 0 is 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. 7 take away 7 is 0 and 1. Bring that up here. Do another group of 2. 2 times 36 is 72. More on top, no need to stop. And then this is just 10 take away 7, which is 3. Bring that up. And then 1 times 36 is 36. Numbers the same, zero is the game. Add up these partial quotients. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, now our numerator. Okay, 36 times 1 is 36. Numbers the same, zero is the game. So we just get 1 for that. Now we still want to check divisor times quotient plus remainder, divisor times quotient plus remainder. Since our remainder is zero for both and the identity property of addition says it's going to stay the same, we don't actually need to add the zero. Five times six is 30. Five times three, five groups of three tens is 15 tens plus three more tens is 18 tens or 180. Here we have the identity property of multiplication that says if you multiply by one it stays the same. One times six is six, one times 30 is 30. 36 matches our dividend here, check. 180 matches our dividend up here, check. So that means my numerator is definitely one and my denominator is definitely 5. So let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page. Okay, trimester 1, week 8. Our date today is 9, 27, 19. Our fraction for today, got to write it kind of small, we have completed one-fifth of the school year, which is equivalent to 20 hundredths, which is equivalent to 2 tenths, which is equivalent to 20% of the school year. Completed 20%. We have 80% of the school year left to go. Okay, let's go ahead and get out our number line. We did groups of 36, so that's way down here, groups of 36. So we have completed one-fifth of our school year. Okay, we have an equivalent fraction in our 18th. 18 is a common factor. In our 12th is a common factor. 9th is a common factor. 6 is, is a common factor. 4 is, is a common factor, 3 is a common factor, 2 is a common factor, but 
36 was our greatest common factor, so it got us our equivalent fraction in lowest terms. Okay, let's go ahead and put your number line away, erase your worksheet, and thank you for joining me.